What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dropping Hits. And I'm back with something new today. I've been trying some stuff out. I've been messing with this deep fake software, whatever it's called, man. I thought it'd be funny if I would try to put Abner's face on Robert's face for some portions of season one. It's kind of funny how it turned out. I think it's hilarious. I just wish I could mess with the voices, but so far technology has not brought us there yet. So unfortunately it is in Robert's voice. I would have loved to have it in Abner's voice. At least add in some uh some well-known sayings like you know i'm the enforcer i hold the shame you guys know what it is well uh, before we get into the video let me remind you guys that do live stream on twitch throughout the week we do watch the love at the lockup episodes over there so please give me a follow we have a great time over there when i do live stream i don't have a set schedule so just make sure you have the notifications on and also make sure you have the notifications on for this channel as well I had to take a break. It was that time of year. My mother's passing has been one year, so I took a little break and uh, was just going through it for a couple of days. And I'm here now, so I've rambled a little too long. Let's just get into the video. Let's drop right into it. They don't have to work. For most part, I work two jobs. I wake up early at 5 a.m. after work the night before. They just get to sleep in and play cards with their buddies. I mean, it, it's a disgrace. It's gonna be like a country club environment. Make new friends, watch TV, eat good food, prop my feet up and stretch my toes. I looked like an inmate. And, uh, they took many tests like a CT and um, blood draws, etc., and they didn't find anything wrong with me. Uh, that is such a relief. What would you say to the person who says they think you were exaggerating your symptoms because you didn't want to go back to Gen Pop? Well, that's, it's obviously false. Do you think it's possible that the pain is psychosomatic? Absolutely not. Zero chance of it being psychosomatic. I'm glad you're feeling better today. It just goes to show you, uh, drugs do work short term. When Robert walked in the room, he, it actually kind of surprised me a little bit because he was talking to everybody and joking around. <laughs> it didn't remind me of somebody who just spent the night in the hospital. So what was your thoughts when you first walked through the doors? Was it what you thought it was going to be initially? They said it's going to be easy. It was easier than I thought. I didn't think it was so bad. So it was never a deterrent to you that, hey, if I did something wrong, I'd get put in jail, and this is what it'd be like? Well, that was, that was a cotton candy cream puff situation. So what you're telling me is it was no big deal. Oh, absolutely it was no big deal. I thought it was a reward. It was a sheer treat. Robert has a skewed perspective of what really happened. I've been in law enforcement for a long time. I know how to read people, and he's lying. Tell us more about the facility. You know, that's the whole point of putting you in here. Right, right, right. Uh, the way the facilities run, uh, there, uh, I don't have any complaints. Once again, I- Name I me one thing that you think was a deterrent to make you not want to get ever arrested again to go back to jail. I mean, I actually enjoyed my time in there. It was easy. It was legitimately easy. I don't think anybody's gonna watch the show and think jail was easy for you. Maybe somebody looks at it as like, no, they told him all the rules. He broke them on purpose to get in segregation. Then he wants to tell us how great segregation is. Jail's easy and our jail's easy and he has it all figured out. I immediately took offense to it. Um, I think the sheriff did too because uh, our jail isn't easy. He was scared. He's scared to go back up there. Of course, he wouldn't tell me he was scared. Other than this undiagnosed illness, what difficulties? Well, um, you never made it back to population. It, once again, health issue. I don't. So what was wrong with it? It's undiagnosed. How do we go from rolling around on the ground in a cell last night to this Robert? You know what? The power of pain meds. So they give you pain meds for constipation? No, it's not constipation. It's undiagnosed. What pain medications are you on? No comment, but it's not, it's, it's not crystal meth. Who 
Were you afraid to go back upstairs in general population? I wasn't. I, I wanted to be come back. I wanted to. There's not a morsel of information that said that I did not want to go back to pod 3D. I wish you'd drop your guard. And it, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying, hey, I'm afraid or I was scared. You're not helping me anything that I can improve the facility other than you thought it was too big of a cakewalk. You know what I think happened? I think you, you got in over your head up there in the section. And that's why downstairs was a retreat, because you felt safe down there. No, I... And that's why you didn't want to go back upstairs. You're 100% wrong on that. But the only time you started feeling bad when it was time for you to go back upstairs. You're 100% wrong. I don't need you to defend yourself or anything like that. I'm just telling you exactly how it works. Those inmates tested you. That's how jail life is. They do it to everybody. It wasn't just you. We warned you about it. But I don't, I don't need you to defend yourself and <laughs> not prove it. You're so wrong. You're so, you, you, I, don't, I don't need to hear it. I'm done with it. I, I, I don't know how we can continue the conversation because like you're way up here, I'm way down here, and reality is, is nowhere near what, what jail's like for you. Do you have like a history of mental illness or anybody in your family? No, I won't. Have mental illness? Just fine. Everyone's fine. Because I mean, you just, it, it glows <laughs> to me some of the things that you're saying. I'm comfortable with being me. This meeting makes me question Robert's motivation for participating in this program. Oh, man. Oh, that could have came out a little bit better, man, but sometimes your boy's impatient. I could have just maybe let it train a little bit longer and, and really get the detail in. But hey, it's still a funny ass video to me, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. I think I'll have to play a little bit with this software, man. Maybe get it look a little better, make it a little bit, maybe, I don't know. I just have to, it's my first time dealing with it, man. And I think it's just gonna be better. If you guys wanna see that, you know, just leave the comments below whose face you would like to see on whose, and I will try to make that happen for you guys. I do have a Where Are They Now video coming up from the season one participants. Oh, I'm stuttering over here and everything. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you check out the description below to follow my social medias and all that good stuff. And like I said before, we are watching the Love at the Lockup episodes on my Twitch, so please give me a follow over there. And that is about it, guys. I salute each and every one of you, and I will see you guys on the next video. Fuck it. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, oh. Woo. <laughs> oh shit. Yo! <laughs>